Mr. Anderson! You guys are fucking brutal. Really. Who in the fuck told you you could act in a film? Is she really so active in bed like she appears to be gimmick-wise? A lot of grabbing the boobs. I gotta know what went down as soon as you hit the backstage after the match. Is Orton screaming in your ears, Michael Hayes creeping on a diva? Give us the scene. Michael Hayes was getting blowjob by somebody, I can't remember who it was, but... Now where'd the heat with Orton come from? For all accounts, you two were tight. What went wrong? We were tight. We just, you know... I don't know. I, could, I dropped him on his head. But in working together, can we really expect that there's never going to be an accident? That's, yeah. I, I, I've always said that if you don't expect to get a boo-boo sometime in the ring, you're in the wrong fucking mood. Is, is it true in OVW that Jim Cornette wasn't a fan? No, he yeah. didn't see your potential. It wasn't that he wasn't a fan. It was just like, you know, when I was there and when he was there, it was sort of, there's so many guys under contract and you can only get so many people on the television show every mm -hmm. week. And when he would give me an opportunity, it was like, Bad guy, good guy. Here you go, here you go. Oh, you and you, you got five minutes. Go out there and get yourself over. Weren't you supposed to be Vince's son? If so, where would the gimmick have gone? Was there a world title run planned for you? Yes, yes, and yes. And then I got in trouble for taking steroids. So, that all went bye-bye. When you, when you left the office, was Hornswoggle doing cartwheels down the whole way? <laughs> Just, or did he wait five minutes for you to leave? I, I think he waited. You know what? Let's watch some of the videos of yeah, some of the other that. guys on yeah. the show talking uh, about right, you, right, and then we can right. decide if you've got anything to oh. say about Bob Holly. Um, uh. <laughs> oh, let's throw Ken Kennedy in there, too. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we'll get this. Is this Ken? Or yeah, it's both of Randy and Ken again. He's one of the guys like JBL where everyone's got to give him the attention. He's like, I'm a tough guy. I'm a bad, I'm a bad motherfucker. You don't fuck with me. I don't know if he was imitating someone or what. And I was just really? like, do you want me to hit you? And he goes, what? I go, I think I'm going to hit you. He goes, no. And I was like, oh, okay. And I just kept tying my boots and that was it. And he probably doesn't even remember it. But I was thinking, I, you know, I'm going to hit this guy. Had he said yes. I would have hit him. You would have hit him. Yes. <laughs> it's not so much his dick. That's amazing, it's his balls. They're fucking just gigantic. Cena was hanging out in the locker room, kind of just creeping. And then I was talking to Randy, and then I just got the sense that there were some things that were said during the day too, before I went out for the match that you know, prompted me. That. Cena, was, Cena knew more about mm. how the finish was gonna go down. Then. Why would Cena go along with that? He was high. he's untouchable. He doesn't need to be bothered with that bullshit. Wow. There's a lot of people who you would think are untouchable, right? In the business who yeah. for some reason I mean, people always ask why why does this person hold people down when they're they're untouchable? Rank these assholes one to four. Well, he's assuming these are assholes though. PS Cornette can't be as bad as the other three, Mike check. Alright, Randy Orton, Jim Cornette. Uh, John Cena, Vince McMahon. It was just Randy Orton and I in the locker room, and he was naked, and he had just come, come out of the shower or something. He's naked, and now I'm like getting my shit ready, and my boots are sitting there. And I remember he kept like, he kept like, his my boot is right here, and he kept like dipping his cock into my boot. I remember working with Sean, and he was mad because I, I would cover up. He chop me, and I would cover up. Well, you're not working with me. Do, do me. Bro, oh, you're not working. I can't wait to tell the kids what not to do, like what I've learned not to do, how to conduct themselves and how to give interviews and fucking not bury people. And stuff. I was going to say, keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> Good choice doing this show. Yeah, okay. right. Three hours of Monday Night Raw is tough. Mm -hmm. It is like a full-time job. I don't want to do anything for three hours. I don't want to watch my girlfriend play with her pussy for three hours. Mm. That's like my favorite thing in the world to see. Right. Two and a half.